G'day everyone, it's Jerry here from Succulent Fly Traps, your carnivorous plants nursery. Well today I'm really excited to present to you a beautiful species of North American pitcher plant. This is the Saracenia leucophylla. It's commonly called the crimson pitcher plant or the white pitcher plant, depending on how deeply variegated those pitchers are. So that's that one behind me right here. Now, Saracenia leucophylla typically produce their biggest pitchers around about autumn. And that's exactly what my plant's doing right now. It's almost the end of February, autumn's just around the corner, and my plant is producing some beautiful pitchers. It's a really nice species to have in your collection because it complements other species such as Saracenia flava, which typically produce their biggest pitchers in spring. So by having different varieties, peaking at different times of the year, you really do extend your picture display. So let's have a closer look. So this is my Saracenia leucophylla Tarnock variety that I have in my collection. And just look how white these pictures are. As I said earlier, they're sometimes known as the white pitcher plant or the crimson pitcher plant and you can see a bit of both in this variety. If I look on top of the hood you can see here that it's quite white and those veins are quite green but as I go further down the pitcher you can see how variegated and deeply red some of those veins are. It really is a beautiful variety. Those pitchers almost look like flowers. They really do because of those white tops. Now Saracenia leucophylla are legendary when it comes to catching all sorts of insects, particularly flies. And if I go down this picture here, you'll see that there's a silhouette just down here. There we go, see that? You can see how they're moving up and down there. Just before I started filming, I could see some house flies buzzing around the pitchers there. I reckon some of them have fallen in, and once they've fallen in, it's almost impossible for them to get out because of the slippery, waxy walls on the inside of those pitchers. I did actually open up one of these pitchers last season, and the pitcher was absolutely packed full of flies and pretty much nothing else. Now you can see here just how vigorous growing this variety is. This is a 140 millimeter high pot and you can see here just how packed some of these leaves are. I definitely have to uh, repot this particular plant next year. You can see here just how it's growing near the edge of the pot but look how vigorous that growth is. Now you can see here some of these old pitchers during the summer and late spring. They weren't sort of spectacular, they're quite small. Some of them are quite spindly, quite floppy. But it's only now with the onset of autumn that the pitchers are really, really coming together in terms of their size and in terms of their beautiful white coloration. They really are beautiful. Now some of these pitchers can get quite tall. This one here is probably about 65 centimetres high. You can see here how there's a bit of discoloration here because there's acid that's been released or enzymes in the pitcher and sometimes it uh, comes out on the other side as you can see right here. That enzyme of course is digesting those trapped insects in the pitchers. Yeah, it really is a beautiful variety. As I said, it's worth having because it does complement the other varieties such as the Saracenia flavors. And I'll just show you here, if I put one of my other varieties that I have, and this is the Saracenia flava red tube crossed with the Alata red throat. If I put that together, you can just see just how beautifully the two varieties contrast with each other. This variety over here is starting to come into season as well, late summer. And uh, yeah, they really do put on a show 